Uh, hi, yeah, this is gonna be another unscripted video about the update that's gonna be happening two days from now, which is gonna be, or this is gonna drop on February 29th, or, you know, wherever you are in the world. Um, this update's actually pretty short, um, but I'll just jump right into it. Um, the very first thing that they're gonna add is two new costumes. One is called Black Leggings Dione, and Dione is an exalted five-star warrior. Um, this one, and they're just gonna add a new skin for it. This is, like, themed around, like, a gym. Which is pretty dope, I guess. That's actually, I haven't heard of that before, so that's actually pretty sick. Um, this is what it, the illustration looks like. This is what it looks like in game, like the small character icon, and this is the attack animation. Pretty goofy, if you ask me. And how you're meant to obtain this skin, let me just scroll all the way down for a second. Uh, okay, a bit too far. Um, is it's from the new season pass that's gonna release. Um, and it's like 40 bucks. Um, or this is like an USD, but um, yeah, that's how you're meant to obtain it. Um, then the next thing that they're gonna release is another skin called private claudia this is another um skin in a skin line which is like the i, I assume there's like the military skin line uh, they've been releasing quite a lot of skin lines lately and the previous one was i think it was like officer dion uh not dion sorry oh my god i always get those two mixed up Dion. the there was a skin for diane which she was a officer let me just actually just see if i can pull it up really quick i think it was in this update Nope, it was, it's definitely not in this update. Uh, 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 yeah, there we go. Yeah, Captain Diane, that's what it was called. Yeah, this was the um, skin that they released previously. And this is the newest skin that they're going to release in the skin line, which is Private Claudia. So that's pretty cool that they're doing um, now uh, like a series of costume, which is really cool in my opinion. Um, this is for Claudia. Um, and Claudia is a five, where is she? Uh, there she is. Um... Claudia is a five-star magician, and she is seen quite often in competitive play, so I assume some people might get this. But yeah, this is just what the skin looks like. This is the illustration. This is the what the small goober looks like, uh, and this is the attack animation. In my opinion, that's actually a pretty funny attack animation. <laughs> and uh, yeah, next is going to be the... Other than those two skins, the next thing that they're going to add is a season event. The The previous season event is going to end, so pretty much this will be the newest one. Um, if you haven't finished the old season event, make sure you finish it for those free rewards. Additionally, how if you don't know what a season event is, what it is is pretty much like a battle pass. You just do these random missions, just claim rewards, and boom, that's it. Just free rewards. Next is the Coliseum, and this is just a small change to the Coliseum. They're going to change it so that instead of 8 players to start a game, it's 4 players. So you'll be finding games more often to the, like, 50 people who play Coliseum. <laughs> I, I don't play Coliseum, but hey, at least you'll get matchmaking faster. Next is the, oh, here, events. This is really important because um, this, when this event, uh, sorry, when this update drops, it's going to be a really, really good time to get runes, especially because there's going to be not only a rune enchant discount, but also a rune temple horseshoe discount. This is, like, the best one. Because it will uh, uh, reduce the amount of horseshoes it costs to run the rune temple. So this is like really, really good. And also you get like upgrade potions, which is nice to upgrade runes. So just in, in summary, just like this, just when the update drops, just a really, really, really good time to get runes if you need them. Next is going to be this lucky event that they're going to add. This event is uh, like you press use material. And then you click these three pots and like these three pots, like one of them is going to be like a reward. One of them is going to be a multiplier. And then one of them, I, uh, it's going to be like a quantity. So how this is meant to work is that like, once you just, like I said, once you click material, you could click these pots to get free stuff. But the main thing is that once you've completed all of your uh, daily missions, once, it, oh yeah, here, claiming mission reward, um, or by completing 10 daily missions consecutively will provide additional alchemy ingredients. So for example, if day one, you have one alchemy material, you use it and boom, that's it. And then the next day, once you complete all your dailies, you get another alchemy material. So you have two. So you have boom, 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 and then you could do it again. Boom, boom, boom. Get two rewards. And then the day after that, you could get three alchemy materials if you finish all your um, daily missions. Now, I should not uh, I should say there's a cap to this. You could have a maximum. It says two additional ingredients. So plus one of this. Uh, plus one of the original one, so you could have a maximum of three ingredients or three attempts of this per day if you keep finishing your daily missions over and over and over. Um, 
you don't really have to put much thought into this. This pretty much just think of it as just free rewards, essentially, if you just complete your dailies. And yeah, if you want to see, these are all the stuff that you could obtain. I don't want to list all of them, but here are, I don't want to like speak of all of them, but here are all the things you could obtain. Not bad, literally just free rewards. Next is the dash event. And this dash event is pretty much just free rewards. This one's clear the rune temple. And to do this one, just... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, sorry. I don't know what happened on my computer. <laughs> um, next is the clear the rune temple. And clear the rune temple is just like... Since it's going to be cheaper to run the rune temple now, just pretty much just keep running the rune temple. Boom, very, very easy to reach this maximum. And then next is going to be login rewards. This is really, really good. Um, and I always keep saying, make sure anything that has exalted skillbook pieces... 100% make sure you do it because exalted skillbook pieces are super super rare and very very precious literally the developers handing these out are very generous of them so yeah just keep make sure you do this <laughs> um and yeah that's actually a pretty much about it for all the content that they're going to add a pretty short update if you ask me but that's probably because they're saving it for this update that's going to come later in march where they're going to add two new um Legendary mercenaries like a new mini game and a bunch of bunch of stuff um, So that's why this one's pretty short um, And for the paid packages, this is just where you get the season pass uh, This is where you purchase the private Claudia skin. I forgot to mention that uh, This is you know exalted skill books. This is paid packages. That's your money I, I I'm not saying you should buy it or you should not buy it. That's up to your decision uh, These are custom packages the step up package that no one usually gets and lastly is just runes and this one is actually pretty important these ones are diamond packages and in my opinion like these two uh these two right here for the legend assault rune package i would not recommend get this because it's 2000 fucking diamonds 2000 diamonds is a hell of a lot of diamonds that's like two t two temples on the legend banner or four four five three <laughs> three sorry three um five uh, three ten pulls on the standard banner it might yeah, don't don't get this it's easy enough to get runes as is you don't need a legend you don't need a legend plus like maxed out bb like whatever rune you don't you don't need that epic plus i will always say this epic plus is good enough that's hell of a lot of good enough you do not need to get this at all Please, don't waste your fucking diamonds on this. If you buy this, I'm going to be really, really sad. Um, yeah, don't get this. And also for this, also just don't, don't fucking get this. You get enough, so much rune essence. The game is so generous in giving you rune essence that you really don't need to buy this. Like, literally, if you go to your Mystic Island and keep purchasing the occasional, um, what is it called? Like, rune essence, you'll be completely fine. And even so, you could, like, dismantle or scrap some of your runes if you don't have enough somehow. Don't, don't get this. For these two paid packages, the, the, don't don't get these. Or these are diamonds, but don't don't get these at all, please. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this update. Like I said, this is a pretty short update. I don't really have any much else to add, so I'll just quickly summarize everything. So what they're going to add to this update is two new costumes, uh, the Dion costume and the Private Claudia costume. Um, there's going to be a new season pass event. Uh, Coliseum is going to shrink from eight players to four players, so it's faster match time. Next, they're going to be really uh, two main events. It's uh, the number one is that when the update drops, it's an incredibly good time to get runes. Next is a lucky alchemy event where this is pretty much just free rewards, and then the dash event, you know, free rewards, exalted growth support check-in event, free more free rewards, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Just paid packages, paid packages, more paid packages. and the two diamond packages at the very end, which I highly recommend that you do not buy. And yeah, that's it. And yeah, I don't have anything else to add. Uh, thanks for watching.